you know, you get the the five dysfunctions of a team thing. Like what, what are some of the things you've seen in your experience that, that trip teams up? What are like the common issues that, that like make a team struggle? So you've named one of my favorite books of all time because <laughs> they <laughs> called so. out. <laughs> you guessed it. My number one, the biggest thing, I think there's one dysfunction of a team that I would say creates the rest. And that is an absence of accountability. And yes, the blame. Yeah. <laughs> right. Totally. I mean, it's like, yeah. because that's the root of everything that creates the distress that creates everything else. So, hmm. and, and I even see the absence of accountability to be, or sorry, when you look at something like psychological safety as a foundation of an effective team, I see actually accountability to be like the real foundation, because if um, you don't have accountability, if you don't know what are the, where, where are the places that I can, you know, voice concern or, or like, what am I even working on? Like, what is this all about? Or who do I go to for what? When you don't have that, how are you supposed to feel safe to say anything? And I think there's a really missing piece and like, sorry, Amy Edmondson. <laughs> like, I think there's like a really big missing piece it's, to the psychological safety. There's a root, cause. Yeah. There's a root yeah. cause. It's yeah. like, why are we not feeling that? Because I don't know if what's, what happens one day is going to be the same the next day. So how yeah. can I feel safe? And yeah, I yeah. think when you're in a team where, you know, signals of lack of accountability are, you know, you meet on something, you make a decision it, it's all great in the meeting. And then five seconds later you leave the meeting and everyone's like, well, should we do that? Or like, you know, people agree to deadlines they're not going to meet, which is a huge, huge issue in the software space because, you know, d deadlines can change relatively easily. And there's a lot of pressure to say yes and have 35 P zeros, which is like supposed to be most important thing. But how do you have 35 of them? <laughs> it's like you have yeah, a five percent team. So yeah. yeah. And so you yeah. get this culture where you're, you're kind of like, yeah, you're supposed to say yes. We're just going to like appease this kind of one moment. And then uh, we kind of know we don't have to do it. That mm -hmm. is something that I think is mm -hmm. pretty symptomatic in, in, in many, many corporate environments and many kind of industries that. I really believe it's the, the biggest thing that breaks a team down because even with a small business, if you can get your team members feeling accountable to growing the business, to being a part of it, you then foster an ownership mindset where they yeah. show up proactively and they're thinking of ideas to grow the business. They're not coming to you with problems. They're taking action. Now you can yeah. like scale to no limits. So yeah. it's both the biggest problem and the biggest opportunity.